Mission of ODM party to oust MPs Aisha Jumwa from Malindi and her counterpart from Sambweni Suleiman Dori for supporting Deputy President William Bruto in his 2022 political ambition has elicited reactions. These following the probability that the two might lose their parliamentary seats, prompting a by election. Our reporter Iron Mwangi looked into this situation and files this report. Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa and his Msambweni counterpart Suleiman Dori dalliance with Deputy President William Bruto has no doubt dealt them a blow following the decision by the party to expunge them. The NEC has adopted the recommendation of the disciplinary committee to have the two legislators, namely Honorable Aisha Jumwa and Honorable Suleiman Dori, expelled from the party. Since the promulgation of the 2010 constitution, no leader has been removed from the party and forced to go for a by-election. Political pundits weighing on whether or not these two leaders will face the acts. Of course, uh, it, it, in the spirit of Sheikh and all that, it will be over. It, he, of course, he, he will be speaking tough about people who are not towing the line of the party, but I don't think that at this, Raida doesn't want to look a dictator like, uh, like Moy, where I used to explore party and Akaf. But ODM is just not sending a warning. For them, this is a matter of life and death. The reason being that in 2022, if they lose many of their MPs and many of their elected leaders, and that's their campaigners on the ground, uh, to William Ruto, then they will be in, in a weaker position. In 2017, registered political parties, Lucin Dungu had removed Malava MP Moses Malulu from the Mandalia Democratic Party role on claims that he associated with the party other than the one that sponsored him to parliament. Malulu survived the Oster as it was only several months to the polls. It is assumed that Dori and Jumwa might head to the court as their survival tactic. Still, they have a, they have a mechanism. They can still have a, the political parties tribunal to go and make an appeal and that kind of thing and try to fight for... Well, of course, also, sometimes most of them can even go to court and go and, and assert their right of uh, you know, freedom of expression and all that kind of thing. They have all these, those things they can go and fight. Yes, they, they will go to court. And the courts being as they are, they will drag the case so you'll hear six months the, a certain court has made a decision, then there's an appeal in the high court, then court of appeal, then Supreme Court. Definitely that's what will happen because even if it takes six months, that six months of salary Aisha Jumu and, and others will get. Further, it is claimed that Jumo was publicly declared as a port for Deputy President William Bruto in the 2022 race has not been attending ODM parliamentary group meetings. Sasa sisi wabunge muna utuona hapa wabunge wote wakosti Tumesema pia tumechoka na panganga Ikiwa ni tuchaguliwe kweli 2022 pana pomajaliwa yake mwenyezi mungu Kumbe watu wana kuhesabu kwa matendo yako Very detrimental to the political careers because remember you can only run If you've been an, a member of a political party for up to six months So clearly if a by election is held within three months of you being expelled over from a party You ca then can't uh, run on that political party And neither can you run on another political party At the same time uh, you need to remember that um, the, the, the political fortunes of Jumwa is, are, are totally based on what ODM pushed for them and ODM's popularity at the cost. Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho has been blamed for orchestrating the ouster of the Mbato legislators from ODM party. So is Joho interested in a Jumwa ouster? Of course he is. He's interested because uh, he needs a solid base. He's not going to run for a governor a second time. The cost is his uh, biggest bargaining chip. That's where he derives his power from the love he gets from the people. And anyone who's a threat to that then must be dealt with the severity that, that it deserves. And I don't know why Jumwa is surprised because when you go to war with an elephant, you must be very aware that the elephant will try to push you out of the way. MPs Aisha Jumwa and Suleiman Dori have been previously heckled by their supporters and this is said to be the start of the two leaders being shown the door. Mama, kwa sababu ameona kwamba hiki chama haki mfaitena yafaa na yeye akiache kama hakiachi basi atolewe ili kama anawafuasi kweli. 
tukutane kwa debe this point she does a do a turn around and says you know what i am not going to support william ruto i will stay within odm even if she's pretending about it then uh, she might survive the the upswell of waters that are rising against her but outside of that it's not going to work the solid question being, will these two leaders manage to defend their way back to parliament if they run as independent candidates in their respective constituencies? The question is, are the ripples that uh, Jumwa and, and Dori are, are the, that they are forming at the coast, are they going to be big enough to survive the tsunami that is ODM in the coast? That's the key question. And if they're going to try and stand and they see the waves are too big for them, I bet you they will shift. Whether or not these two leaders will head to the court to hold the decision by ODM party or they will be forced to go back to the polls still remains a puzzle to them. Irene Mwangi, KUTV.